What's happening, guys? Today, I want to I wanna display to you guys one of my favorite one-knee drills, okay? Typically, what you see in a one-knee drill, okay? Everybody's probably done one-knee drills at some point in their playing career, okay? What I see a lot of sometimes is we kind of line up like we would be in a normal stance, okay? And I want to I wanna kind of shift that a little bit because I want us to try to feel things happen properly during our motion, okay? And a lot of times whenever we start here in, in kind of a, a square position, a lot of times what we'll feel is we don't feel the back hip set, okay? We don't feel any stretch in our body, and then we can get very pushy with the hands, okay? So I want us to, I want us to try a new way of lining up during a one knee drill, okay? So follow along. First step, we're going to have our front toe pointed towards the pitcher, okay? Front toe and our belly button out towards the pitcher, okay? So we're going to, we're, our body is going to be facing the big part of the field now, okay? The next step, and this is where we're going to get a different feeling, okay? It's all about feel as we're going through drills, okay? What we're going to try to feel is we're going to let, we're going to rotate ourself back like we would like our shoulders would be square towards the pitcher okay but what we just felt there now is I feel a big stretch in the in the inside part of my left leg and I now feel a big stretch in my core okay because now I'm I'm allowing my body I'm allowing my shoulders and my hips to become separated okay and that's what's going to create a lot of stretch in the body before we fire, okay? So again, we're gonna set that rear hip and we're gonna rotate our upper body back, okay? So if you guys can see me from this angle, whenever I rotate myself back, okay, so I'm facing you guys, whenever I rotate myself back, now I've created a good angle. As you can see, I have really good posture with my upper body as my legs kind of stay in that same position. I'm gonna feel a big stretch, and then I'm gonna turn and go, okay? And that's, that's gonna be my next part here is the turn. Once we set up, front toe pointed towards the pitcher, belly button towards the pitcher. Okay, I'm gonna rotate back. Now my shoulders are square. My hips are still open. All I'm gonna do now with the hands is I'm just going to leave everything alone back here, and I'm just going to turn, okay? I'm just going to turn, and what's going to happen is we're just going to let the barrel run into the baseball. The, the hands are going to travel with the shoulder as I turn, so I maintain all my angles as I get out through the ball, okay? So, so as we go through the finish, we're going to stretch, Okay, I want us to turn. Oh, I feel a big stretch in my core. I want us to turn, and then when we get to contact, I just want us to pause. Okay, I want us to pause. I don't want us to swing all the way around because then we're gonna, well, then we're gonna lose posture and we're gonna come out of the swing. Okay, so we're gonna turn, stretch, maintain our angles, and just turn, boom, and let everything stop at the ball. Okay, so we're going to feel good rotation. Hands and shoulders are going to move together. And our body and our posture is going to be down on the baseball. So that way, when we get back up on our normal swing, we're going to translate that to, okay, I'm going to go through my motion. I'm going to stretch, turn, hands and shoulder turn together, boom. And I'm going to allow all that force that I stretched, all that tension that I stretched, I'm going to apply all that force now into the spot as my barrel unfolds through it. 